Yeah, just letting you know, this is going to be a one take video. We ain't done one of these in a little while, it's been a good minute, but I'm feeling like I've got the power today. To be honest, I forgot that I was doing it like this in the past, uh, just coming out talking. It's the best way to make a video, man, because it's just one of them, isn't it? So if it goes good, it goes good. If it don't, then it don't. But I'm just doing this so I can have a better day tomorrow, because I know for a fact on days that I don't come out and make my video, the next day I sit there and think, what the fuck did you not go out and make that video last night? For whatever excuse it was, like two nights ago, I came out to make a video, but I smoked my joint before I started making the video. Got to the spot and just thought, I'm seized. Uh, I ain't making no video tonight. I'm done ski. But now, fuck that. We're getting this fucking ball rolling again. Getting back into the routine of just doing this shit. Because it's what I'm supposed to be doing. I just know it. And I sit there and I say things like, yeah, we're going to change the world. We're going to take over the internet make a fucking big wave and uh, some days I doubt it then other days I know for a fact and it's uh but that's just life man you're not gonna be a solid 10 all the time are you you ain't gonna have the energy to come out and do what you know you need to be doing all the time but you've got to fucking come out and do it regardless whether you're feeling tired or not whether you feel like you could just sit at home and right away so I'm not worried about making a video that makes me look like a dickhead. Well, I am a bit, but I'll tell you what I'm more worried about. I'm more worried about being five years down the line and not being closer to where I fucking know that I'm going. To know that I had all these dreams and these fucking things that I wanted and that I weren't doing my most. I weren't doing everything I could to get where I want to go. And it ain't got to be nothing major. You just got to turn up. You just got to keep doing it, man. Just find whatever it is you love to do. Whether that's making a fucking video, like old Rollo. Or, I don't know, man. It could be knitting. If you're an old woman. Could be fucking going training. Not half arsing it. Going all out. So you know, because people who train, you could go to the gym and you could have one of them days where you're thinking, oh, bro, I'm just going to coast. But you know, yeah, that if you sit there and power through it and just be a beast, that you're going to come to the end of this session and think, yeah, man, I'll prove something to myself. And that, that all comes from fear. Uh, fear is a good thing, man. Fear of not being your best and not being someone who's fucking going hard and doing the most that they could be doing bro like I ain't no exceptional person I'm just average geezer just doing my bit but I just know what'll work I know what'll work for me As I stare into this camera box, pondering for ideas, I, s I stand here in comfort. I ain't worried that my fucking brain's running dry and that. Because regardless, it's still going to go on the videotape. Like I said, this is a one take. No cuts, no fades, no fancy camera trickery. Just fucking mono v mono. Just me and the camera box. I just dropped my headphones. I'm wearing a bitch is like a scarf. I'm not gonna wear them like a scarf. It was a bit cold on the back of my neck, though. Was. I was listening to some uh, Joe Rogan, not like a Joe Rogan clip or nothing. One of them like motivational things where it puts loads of different clips together like, of his podcast and that and just him and like, other random people talking I think he had like Jocko Wilnink in some of it mate that stuff's powerful so 
when you listen to that stuff, it's like eating some fruit. You know what I mean? Or you can go and listen to the news. Go fucking... The news is like a bag of Doritos, yeah. <laughs> and Joe Rogan's like some fucking juicy fruit, man. You go and listen to that shit. And you feel like a boss. You think, yes, this shit makes sense, man. What it was on about in this one is, like, saying life. People expect that they're going to be some fucking king laid back on a fucking beach somewhere on the deck chair being ham fed grapes and having the nails painted and shit but I tell you what like he said you could do that, I could do that for about an hour and I'd think yeah this is fucking shit man I ain't doing this no more I need to like go up and go walk around the kingdom you know what I mean go see what the people are saying see I want to go talking about habits, like a little, a little bit about that. Forming good habits, man. And this, this right here is a fucking good habit for me. Like I say, it's when I'm at most peace in the day, when I know that I'm doing this, because this is, this is so massive. Even though it's tiny here and it's nothing at the minute, just coming and doing it. I'm laying bricks, man. I'm laying bricks. You keep laying bricks, yeah, eventually you're gonna get a fucking wall, man. And what can you do with a wall? You can spray paint it and decorate that bitch fancy. You know what I'm saying? I've had bad habits in the past, man. Luckily, I've never really got addicted to nothing serious. Never really been a big drinker. Never really been on hard drugs. All I ever did was smoke a little weed. And I think that, for me, was a shit habit. Because the amount of weed I was smoking... Just, it's like a little comfort zone, yeah? People like to see it comfort. This is some other Joe Rogan shit. I just listen to him. I just listen to what he says. And I regurgitate it, yeah? Put my little Rollison flair on it. But yeah, whatever I was just saying, I forgot. Give me a minute, it'll come back. I know it's some juicy shit. Oh, habits. Oh, since I've moved away from my hometown where everything, everything was so easy and so chilled, and it's just this little comfy life, yeah. But I tell you what, being here, being away from all my mates and this little comfy life, I feel so much more fulfilled now. And like, it's backwards really, because boy, I ain't got like. I'm lacking on certain things. I haven't got a good social life at the minute. If I want to go and have a laugh, I've got to go 80 miles down the road, back to hometown to go see people and that. But it ain't actually that good, because it's like, all these people, even though I love them, even though they're fucking great people and that, it's not beneficial to my future, man. It ain't, like, you can float around. And I think it's different for them. I think they belong more in that place where they are. I'm an internet child, yeah. I've spent years on law and looking at all this shit. My mates are very old fashioned, bro. You know what I mean? They're happy with a little bit of hunting, a little barbecue or something, a little Friday night sesh, whatever. And that, apparently, that keeps them content. Not saying they're any more happy than me, but what I'm saying is, from what I've realised, going back to my hometown, being sat around doing the same shit that I always did, it don't bring me, like, comfort, it don't bring me satisfaction, yeah. And that's one of a couple reasons, yeah. It's because back then, when I had my house in the hometown, I could go out for a couple of hours, and then I could go back to the hub. And I was still doing bits, like I said, I was still progressing to where I wanted to get. But it's like I was on the slow track, man. Moving down here, it's like coming into the fast lane, but because all I've got now is me and my goals. There's no distractions, the phone don't ring, I ain't got no one to like fucking I ain't got no negative also ain't got no positive obviously off my mates but I think you can find all that shit online man and I'm not worried because I say I ain't got no mates now I ain't got no people to waste time with that's what it is but in time I'll, I'm gonna find the right people people that are about this video making shit and then when I do as soon as I've got me a cameraman who 
I'm gonna take over the internet, man. I'm telling you. The content is just gonna get better and better, especially over these next few days while that weed evaporates out my system. We're forming new habits. We're stopping the casual beer drinking. We're stopping the cheeky spliff a day. That's all I've been smoking lately. I don't need it. All I need is to feel like I'm fucking grounding. And it ain't even hard work. You ain't gotta be doing hard work. You just gotta be working smart. You'll know what it is, yeah? You'll know if you're doing the right thing. I'm out here doing the right thing for me anyway. Right, that was it. That was uh, how many minutes we got there. That's 10 minutes, Jesus. I didn't even think that was that long. That's a wrap, Royce Waller. One take. Expect to see more of these.